Hello and welcome to DCU TV News Student Union Election Coverage 2018. I got the chance to speak with the candidates running for the position of VP for Welfare and Equality, Jason Nesbitt and Ashling Fagan, and asked them why they felt they were suitable for the role. So Jason, why are you running for the position of VP for Welfare and Equality? Um, I'm running for Welfare and Equality Officer because it's a position that I've been passionate about from almost day one in first year. Um, I. Um, when I was in first year, I was having a really hard time uh, like getting into college life. Uh, I was really struggling with it and like a friend recommended I go talk to the welfare officer and he gave me a lot of advice on like how to get involved with societies and the support systems that were available to me as an access student. And then from that day on, I was like, that's a job I want to do. I, need, I feel like I need to help people the way I've been helped. And quite passionate about all areas of the job, whether it be like physical health, sexual health, mental health, representation and equality. It's always been a passion of mine. And it says in your manifesto, um, we know you're a treasurer for DC's Mental Health Society, mm -hmm. and your manifesto outlines how you want to create a mental health sanctuary yeah. in the New Hope. How necessary do you feel this is on the Glasnevin campus? I feel very necessary. I feel like with the other campuses, like Pats has Java, um, All has All Hallows has a chill out zone as well, but in Glasnevin at the moment, we don't have a designated de stress, don't think about college for a couple of hours. I feel like the closest thing to it is maybe like the library, like <laughs> where the company seats are, but even like being in the library can stress you out. Um, but I feel like it's definitely necessary to have a, like a safe space almost to just chill out. And I'd love to do like workshops and different events in there uh, throughout the year, focusing on mental health and mindfulness. I mean, it's, whether it's like a film screening just to chill out or like a yoga class or a speech on um, keeping good mental health and finding a work-life balance in college. Mm. And you also want to introduce an LGBT plus week mm -hmm. and you want to host specific days dedicated to different cultures. Yeah. Um, do you feel embracing diversity is something which is lacking across all the DCU campuses? I feel it's not lacking, but it's always something that we can have more of. Uh, in recent years in celebrating diversity, like the SU has done a great job, but as I said, you can always do more. Um, and with the LGBT plus week, um, it's it's not something that's ever been organized by the SU. The LGBT society does that themselves, um, but I feel like their work that they do is not often supported enough. And that's where it's lacking, is really supporting the community and people who are working to educate, destigmatize, and all of these things. Um, you want to introduce classes and workshops for first years to help them settle into college life. Do you feel students starting out in DCU aren't adequately prepared, and what do you hope to achieve from this? Um, I feel like not necessarily that like it's not really a blanket statement for all students, but when you are someone who is eight years old, moving away from home. Being, having to make independent decisions that affect your life mm. um, can be very stressful and often like I know myself a lot of things like with general adulting you're really like how am I supposed to do this no one's ever told me something as simple as like getting a new passport and you're like well mm. I've never had to do this before how do I do that or like setting up a doctor's appointment it's, it's really like I feel like it's very important while not everybody might need it um, it's, it would be great to have it available where like there is, you can't ask a stupid question that you might think you know, there are no wrong questions whether you think it might be basic you're like oh I don't know how to live on a budget and you're like well here's the system you need to apply and know how much you, money you have or general like healthy eating and exercise you're like how do I find time well here's how yeah and just regarding controversies surrounding student unions all over Ireland mm -hmm. in the past academic year, as a candidate, do you feel there is a certain way that an SU representative should act or behave? I feel like it's being very mindful of the people that you represent. And there has been problems with being like being culturally or in other ways insensitive, which is a thing that you always need to check yourself on and be aware of the people that you are re representing it's it's a certain responsibility you have yeah. 
Okay, well, thanks for speaking with us, Jason, and best of luck with everything. Thank you. So, Ashley, why are you running for the position of VP for Welfare and Equality? Um, so, I had a lot of experience with the uh, two welfare office before. Um, I was going through a like, bad time, and I went to both Cody and Pod, and they helped me in ways that I didn't think imaginable. Um, I'm, all, I'm so passionate about uh, people. I love helping people. It's, it's what I do every day. I volunteer every day. Um, and I'm always the one helping my friends through difficult times, and I just want to be that person for all of the DCU. The ways that the welfare officers help me, I want to be that person, and I want to give back in the way that they help me. And in your manifesto, you speak about diversity and you want to introduce a Rainbow Week mm -hmm. and DCU Pride Festival. Yeah. So could you just explain to me a bit more about them and how they would work? Yeah, um, so um, diversity in general, I think Ireland is becoming more and more diverse every day. And I think it's so important to embrace and celebrate this diversity in every way. So that's, you know, and especially here in DCU, like international students, we've got mature students, you've got um, students from different backgrounds, ethnicities, religions. And we have such a large LGBTQ plus community as well. Um, so I was talking to the chair of the LGBTA Society and he said that DCU had never done a Rainbow Week before and I thought it'd be a fantastic idea um, and a good plan for next year. And I think all students across the board would really enjoy DCU Pride Festival. I think it's so important to celebrate the pride that is involved and um, to, make, to, to let all of these LGBTQ students know that they are so welcome here and so should be so comfortable and that all of DCU um, celebrate together. Yeah, and you also want to introduce weekly wellbeing workshops. Yeah. Now, how would these differ from Wellness Wednesdays, which are already in place? Yeah, so it's like it, it is quite similar. It's a similar idea, but I just think that like I really want to instill a culture of self care in DCU. In general, as students, we all completely forget to look after ourselves. We're so busy and we're always going out, and like our sleeping patterns are completely thrown like not eating the best and things like this like I'm guilty of it myself we all are um so I'd love to introduce like healthy eating workshops and um, sleep clinics and um, continue with the free SDI checks and have I am um, positive mental health seminars and it's building on wellness Wednesdays and introducing more different things to it and um, maybe like art therapy and more frequent dog therapy everybody loves the dog therapy <laughs> and wants it all the time <laughs> And you also say in your manifesto, you want to employ a part-time accommodation officer yeah. to help students who are struggling to find accommodation, yeah. which is obviously a very topical issue. Yeah. So what would this officer, like how successful do you think this position will be? What would this officer be doing that isn't already being done? I think um, accommodation is one of DCU's biggest problems. There's just not enough room for the growing demand. And it's an issue that we've all struggled with. I, again, I've been there myself and it's, it's such a panic throughout the summer. And having, speaking, having spoken to um, four of the previous welfare officers, they all said that accommodation was one of the biggest struggles for them personally during the job. And I think that the, for the welfare officer to have to deal with accommodation plus spending the summer getting everything prepared for the coming year, I think it would be really beneficial to have one person solely in charge of just accommodation so they can be there around the clock and just constantly working on accommodation because it is such a pressing issue. Yeah. And in light of controversies surrounding student unions in Ireland as a whole, yeah. the past academic year, do you as a candidate feel there is a certain way that an SE representative should act or behave? Um, obviously, I think we there has been a lot of controversy, but I think um, keeping your personal opinions out of the professional, like your professional job, I think is really important. Obviously, we all have our opinions, but. Um, for a welfare officer, I'll be going with my opinions will be in accordance to the way that the student union has voted or the students have voted to go with. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for speaking with us, Ashling, and best of luck with everything. Thank you. Thanks. So there you have it. Either Ashling or Jason will be VP for Welfare and Equality. You can log on to Loop now and cast your vote across all categories with results being announced on Friday. Michelle Townsend, DCU TV News.